Yo, what it do, YouTube? We're back with another video, man. And if you're viewing it right now, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. We are on the grind for 10K subscribers, and we're so close to getting monetized on YouTube. So just stay tuned and enjoy this video. Now, let's get right into it, man. As y'all see right now, we're at lap 264 with car level 50. Now, this is for all the people that say it doesn't work for my controller. Well, I am going to show you all the steps once again on how to do the AFK method that we have been doing for over a week now. We have hella cars that are level 50, so make sure you watch this video all the way through and pay attention to these steps. You need a controller. That's the first step right there. You need a controller. If you don't got the controller, you can't do the method. Now, I didn't mean to do that. That wasn't part of the script, but yeah, we're about to go ahead and show y'all the next step. So once you got your controller, you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna get your USB cord, USB, that it goes with the controller. You plug it in if your controller dies. Now you plug your USB into the controller. Once you get those first two steps out the way, you're already on the way to making this method work. Now, you, if you're wondering how I did 200 laps, make sure you watch this video all the way through. We're at 265 laps. The most laps we did with this method were running the game with no interruptions, no game pause, and none of that. was 450 laps with this method. So make sure you're paying attention. Now, once you do that, y'all see we got the controller plugged in. I want y'all to see this. The controller is plugged in right now. It, it can't power off or anything. Now, in order for the method to work and to continue running, you have to click down on the D-pad. Down on the D-pad. It's going to pull up this screen right here. Once you pull up this screen right here, you're already, you're already getting there. You're literally about to be done doing what you need to do. The last thing you have to do. Now I have a Series Elite 2 Xbox controller. Now, when I say that, meaning my triggers don't have to be pressed all the way down. Look, I'll show you guys. See, y'all see the difference? So basically, you wanna have your trigger pressed in. Now I don't have to do all the extra shit like everybody else. All I gotta do is just set my controller down on the trigger and it registers. And we're doing this for hella laps, we got hella cars, level 50, which we're gonna show y'all. And we're gonna show you what you have to do in order to start this up. Now, once y'all got all those steps down, y'all will be able to do this method. Now make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on bell notifications if you haven't already. We are trying to hit 200 likes on this video, man. We got a whole bunch of different methods coming out, best setting videos for Forza Motorsport, all that good stuff. Now. Now that y'all see that the game is working, now that y'all see how it works, these are the steps that you actually need into the game. Now I'm gonna show you what you have to change. Also, as y'all see, the car is level 50, but we already said that. So yeah, let's get right into it. We're gonna go ahead, exit to main event menu. Now, this is for the people who don't know how to start it up. So you're gonna go ahead. I'm actually gonna back out just so I can show you guys exactly what you have to do. Now. Once you're at your main menu, you're ready to level up whatever cars you're ready for. You're gonna go into free play, advanced event setup. You're gonna go ahead, so look, we got, let's see what car we're gonna use right now. Okay, we're gonna use the, let's use a level one car. So we're gonna use our M5, BMW M5 right now. You're gonna put it on test drive. You're gonna select your circuit. We've been playing the Miami Speedway lately. You could do this track or you could do any other track, I mean, it's all up to you for real, for real. But we've been doing the Miami Speedway. You're gonna go ahead, I normally put clear weather. These are the only things that you really have to change. It's just the map and stuff like that. Make sure it's on test drive. Make sure you put your cars on any, so you can select any car with no problem. Now that we did that, uh, the rules don't really apply because the game is playing itself. It ain't like you're racing with anybody, but yeah. You're gonna go ahead. A set the event setup. So now that y'all got the controller out the way, you got your controller plugged in, you got something to hold your right trigger in so it can basically be 
registering the gas pedal and make sure that you hit the down on the d-pad without doing these steps you're going to keep on wondering why your game keeps on pausing and why you can't do 200 laps or 100 laps without the games stopping and just completely making you think it's leveling up but the whole time it's been sitting at the pause menu so okay now that you made it this far in the video we're going to show you the last step you need to make the afk method work for leveling up any car you want to easily get level 50 earn some money and level up in the game now you're going to go down to settings right here you're going to go to braking make sure your braking is on fully assisted throttle is on assisted steering is on fully assisted i normally keep traction control and stability control on and then you turn your shifting on automatic once you do these last steps for this method, the method will work perfectly. Make sure you follow all the instructions I gave you at the beginning of this video so that everything can work properly and you will be able to level up whatever car you want. As y'all seen, we have a whole bunch of different cars that are level 50, we're level 317, and we done made over $3 million dollars multiple times so yeah if you want this easy method easy money and you just don't really feel like grinding it out like me then i would say do this method but yeah with that being said man we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start this race up and we're gonna show y'all that the method works now like i said at the beginning of this video also if you haven't already make sure to like comment subscribe turn on bell notifications so you can get notified we are trying to hit 10k subscribers on youtube and get monetized by january of next year that is my end date before my watch time hours reset so the more views the more comments the more interaction we get on our videos the closer it gets me to my goals man so if y'all want to be here for the journey because we got a lot of different content i play a lot of different games on the wheel y'all better stay tuned we're going to be dropping methods like this and all that good stuff but yeah as y'all see the car is driving i'm not doing nothing right now uh, the car is driving right now now this is the start of the method right here but in order to make sure it works y'all have to make sure y'all do the steps at the beginning like having the controller plugged in clicking down on the d-pad to pull up this screen right here if you do not have this screen up that is why your game keeps cutting off so if you don't want your game to cut off make sure you got this screen up and then yeah like i said use a rubber band a hair a hair band whatever you can get to put pressure down i don't know what kind of controllers y'all got but if you got an elite controller it's definitely easier to do it so yeah make sure that your tr trigger is all the way down so that it can register in the game that there's some type of input going on so once you do that you will have no problem doing 250 laps 400 laps or how many laps you want to do you'll get achievements you'll get money you'll level up the car and yeah I mean, it's just something to do if you got to go to work, you got to go out with family, whatever you're doing out in the open world, this is just something you can have running while you're doing that. So when you come back, you don't have to sit there and grind it out and then wonder why your car is too slow in the race. So yeah, if you want to make it easier for yourself, I would say do this method. Let's smash 200 likes on this video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications. Also, we do have our IRL car build on my Instagram, so make sure you follow my Instagram. I will leave a link to the first method video in the bio, I mean, in my description. I'll leave um, a link for my best wheel settings video very soon. We haven't really dropped it yet, but once we do drop it, we will be leaving a link in the description of all my videos for it. So yeah, man, we got a lot of content on the way. I hope we can hit 200 likes on this video and yeah man i hope you guys enjoyed this method as much as i am because yeah this method is easy as hell and i mean shit i'm not about to sit here and be grinding out all these cars to level 50 and for all the people who don't know you actually have to grind out if you buy a duplicate version of a car you have to make it level 50 again those car points don't carry over to the second car you buy of that same car. So if you level up the M5 to level 50 and you buy another M5, you have to level up that one too to level 50. So with that being said, let me know what y'all think of this method. If you tried it, if you're having any problems, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. And as y'all see, the game is literally playing for me while I am saying this. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this method, and yeah, stay tuned. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.